The National Science and Technology Council has launched a Taiwan Science and Technology Hub at Stanford University in the U.S. This is the first time Taiwan has established a technology hub on the campus of an American university. The development comes on the heels of the opening of TSMC's Chip Fab in Arizona and demonstrates closer Taiwan-U.S. cooperation on tech. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang has the details. After more than a year of preparations, Taiwan's National Science and Technology Council has launched the Taiwan Science and Technology Hub at Stanford University. The agreement for the project was signed in December 2022, and construction of the hub is expected to be finished by March 2023. The Taiwan Science and Technology Hub will be located at Stanford University, and Berkeley may also join. Maybe we will see technology exchanges on the west coast of the U.S. in the future, and we will be a platform to facilitate that. Through talent cultivation and industry university cooperation, we can gain some resources from the U.S. The U.S. is very honored to cooperate with Taiwan in the field of science and technology because Taiwan has been a reliable partner recently. Taiwan is a very critical part of the global semiconductor industry and has new cutting-edge technology. This newly established Taiwan Science and Technology Hub will allow the world to see the continuous scientific and technological research cooperation between the U.S. and Taiwan to provide innovative technology and sustainable solutions. In the future, the hub will hold activities in cross-discipline academic research and cooperation and university exchanges. Through the hub, Organizers hope to amplify Taiwan scientific research and international influence. The hub will focus on fields including sustainability, green energy, precision health, semiconductors, and other fields. We want to discuss how to accelerate the development of key areas and amplify the influence of our country's participation in science and technology. One strategy is to integrate existing resources and support research exchanges between various ministries and top universities in the U.S. This is the first Taiwan Science and Technology Hub located on the campus of a top American university with an established research center and offices. Taiwan Science and Technology Hub has recruited well-known experts in the industry to serve as instructors and advisors, including Philip Wong, the chief scientist at TSMC, as well as Michael Liu, the first Taiwanese to serve as a dean of the School of Public Health at UC Berkeley. Research and development are done by people. Universities are the training grounds for people who carry out the research and development. Cultivating the talents for semiconductors is a unique role universities around the world can play. Government support can go a long way towards that goal. The establishment of this Taiwan Science and Technology Hub is therefore very timely. Taiwan is, has tremendous potential in uh, biotech and medtech, especially at the intersection of ICT and healthcare. Taiwan is already a global leader in information and communication technology. It also has tremendous manufacturing capabilities, especially manufacturing at speed, at scale, and with precision. Through the new hub, it hopes to promote closer scientific and technology research cooperation between Taiwan and the U.S. and at the same time, elevate Taiwan's capabilities in technology and its global influence. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang and Li Yi Han in Taipei.